Hey, Brandon here. Welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. Got another 2027 incoming freshman scouting report for you here. We're going to talk about Cam Davis running back headed to Florida State. Interesting prospect, man. He played a quarterback pretty much his entire high school career. Um, late in his senior season, he played a little bit more running back and he's going to Florida State as a running back. So this is an interesting prospect we're going to take a look at today. Luigi Dodone is going to join me again. We're going to go go to the film room. But before that, we're going to talk about his opportunity um, that, what, what you know, is he going to get on the field this fall for Florida State? We're going to have to see. So man, you play Debbie, you play C2C. Um, these videos are for you, helping you get ready for your upcoming drafts, man. So hit that subscribe button. Let's get to the show. Joined by Luigi Tadone. Luigi, how are you, my good friend? Thanks for coming back on the channel. We got an exciting uh, running back freshman headed to Florida State we're going to discuss today. Oh, man, I'm doing great. It's a beautiful day down in Baltimore. Uh, we're discussing one of my favorite, favorite players, uh, Cam Davis. Super stoked. I already yeah. have shares. I already yeah. got my shares. You already got your shares. Well, yeah, this is an exciting good. running back uh, headed. You know, you play Debbie, you play C2C formats. You know, this, these shows are going to be great for you. So hit that subscribe button, guys, if you uh, do play those formats. In fact, we did a C2C supplemental rookie draft on my dashboard subscription service. And Cam Davis was the first running back taken off the board. So I'm sure that's making you happy, Luigi. So let's get right into his profile before we hit the film room. All right, Cam Davis, he's five foot ten, between anywhere between 210 to 20, wherever you kind of see. Um, um, but he's got that frame and size that we love as running backs. But very interesting profile for Cam Davis here because he played quarterback at high school at Doherty where he counted for 8,700 passing yards and 75 touchdowns during his prep career. And that's passing the ball. Um, and uh, when we get to the film room and we see his highlights, you're going to see the, the highlights are very sporadic when it comes to him running the ball. But he did scramble a lot with the ball playing the quarterback position. Um, but he chose Florida State in his recruiting process early in the in his uh, career. He's been a, uh, a, a commit there for over three years. Um, and I and I understand he might be playing baseball, too, at college, which is a very interesting. But let's look at his high school stats. Um, uh, you can see his senior year here only played three games. His season was cut short by injury. But uh, look at the rushing yards playing the quarterback position as a junior. He had 144 carries, over 1,000 yards, 13 touchdowns. And even as a sophomore, 12 carries or 12 games, 127 carries, 1,300 yards, and 16 TDs. So he was a dual-threat quarterback at the high school level. But he's going to Florida State to be a running back. So that's the lens that we're going to uh, kind of uh, do this profile show and scouting report on him. Um, didn't have very much receiving profile. Um, given the fact that, um, you know, he was playing quarterback. So let's get right into his recruit, his recruiting profile. Like I said, he, um, you know, he committed very early to Florida State. So, and he, uh, you know, felt very good about that. He was, uh, a lot of big programs were after him, but he stayed true to, uh, you know, going to Florida State. He is uh, on 24-7 Sports. You can see here on the screen, he is RB11. And then on, on three, he is RB11 as well. So both recruiting profiles have him kind of at the same, you know, place. Um, too low. But, both of them have too low. I know. This is one of Luigi's guys, man. You, yeah. you really believe in this guy. And we know these are all just general ranking and recruiting um, to give us an idea. But, um, you know, so, you know, he's a high recruit, four star prospect for both of these pro for both of these recruiting services. But the big question I think everyone wants to know is, is he going to get on the field, Luigi, this year as a freshman going to uh, uh, obviously Florida State? You know, I think the plan is to let him reshape his body. That's that kind of the talk right now. He's on campus. And he's trying to get down and stay at 215, lose some of the baby fat, keep adding muscle, keep adding speed. Um, so, I, you know, they got Trey Benson off to the NFL. They've got Roy Dell Williams coming over in the transfer portal. Um, I think he's going to be the main dog there. Mm -hmm. uh, they got Kaziah Holmes, who is kind of a poor man's Trey Benson. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a sleeper. He's actually a sleeper. Um, and uh, I think they're going to let Cam Davis just – Come along slowly, you know. Uh, they got a couple of change of pace guys. They got Samuel Singleton, Kaziah Ho or uh, Lawrence Toafili. Uh, I think they're gonna be change of pace guys, but yeah, I think Cam Day's gonna come along slowly. And then next year, that's the big year. That's the jump. And I could see, I could see him going, you know, junior, boom, NFL. 
Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it definitely happens. I mean, even with only two years of production, I agree with you. I think he's going to be it's going to be a a transition year for him, and he might get sprinkled in. And if there's an injury, you know, mid season or something, we might find him getting on the field a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But like I said earlier, you know, he is a uh, you know in our C two C supplemental drafts and stuff, man. He is going to be an early pick. He is. There's a lot of excitement about this guy. So we're going to get to the film room shortly. You know, he is on campus, like Luigi said. The scouting report. There's not a lot of film on this guy, only because you know I'm not can include his passing and his ability to pass the ball because that's not what he's going to do at Florida State. So there's some limited reps. What you're going to see is a guy that's got size. I know, I'm sure, Luigi, you'd like his footwork. He's got the ability to redirect mm -hmm. pretty nice. He's got the good pad level. He's a strong kid. And yes. he's going to be keeping the receipts. So doing the scouting report on him, he is out there talking. I think the one knock people have on this guy is his long speed and his ability to take it to distance. So I know, I'm sure he's going to be working on his speed and agility drills this freshman season for him. Um, but let's get right to the film room, man. We're going to see just a big, powerful running back um, so let's get to the film room and see what this kid looks like. <clears throat> All right. Welcome to the film room. Like we said at the beginning of the show, guys, there is not a lot of film on Cam Davis here running with the football. So, you know, he's playing the quarterback position and the majority of these clips that we're going to see, but we're going to be able to get an idea of his movement skills. Right. And I think that is what the goal here is today, but see his, his ability to get outside. Got he's some built, little... he's built perfectly. I'm going to, I'm going to lead with that. He's a perfect mm -hmm. running back build. Now the question yep. is, the top end speed yeah where, where, and where you know what where is he at with that how fast can he get is it going to be pro 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 level or just running back to ma -ma -ma level yeah but you he, know he, i'm not go yeah ahead. no i mean i just i i can i can spew all day about him i love cam davis i love him great running back on and off the field just awesome i, I like that he was committed for a long the long haul mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a mature young man um mm -hmm. Sky's the limit, man. I just one of my favorite running backs in this class for sure. Yeah. So again, I mean, he might not. He knows that he needs to work on his uh, long speed, but I mean, short yeah. area quickness to me over long speed any day. I mean, if this guy can navigate sure. the trenches and has the footwork and the hip mobility to, you know, redirect and and accelerate is is I think more important. But you no, know, yeah, good ability here, good yak abilities, making guys miss, guys taking bad angles. Let's take a look at it one more time because we don't have a ton of clips here. Look at the, the guy, right. you know, it didn't even look like it affected him. That kid, you trying can't to arm, no arm tackles with this guy. You're not going to arm tackle him. So, I mean, he's got that strong lower half. He's got some yep. enough speed, man. I mean, he's, 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 smooth. Got, he's, he's got, got three years. Yeah, I think he's got enough. I think he's got enough speed. Um, but that's just the question. The only question is just what the top end is it going to be? That's yeah. not, you know, me, I'm always thinking NFL draft, NFL draft. So, mm -hmm. I'm always trying to project forward. And that'd be a question I have. But he's so strong. He's yeah. a bull. Yeah. And he's got to, I mean, he's, we're, let's go back to that play because we don't have too many. So, but again, you just look at the footwork, look at his elusiveness mm -hmm. a little bit. I mean, again, just look at that. I mean, he, yeah. looks like, he has gotten Barry Sanders comps before. I'm just going to put that, I don't want to put really? that on him, no, but he has. Like, yeah, just because his feet, you know, what do you say, Brandy? Does he have the sweet feet you're looking for or what, bud? Yeah, sweet feet or beat feet. That's my thing, right? But look at the feet. Look at this is sweet feet right here, man. Look, I mean, yeah, look at that. I'll tell you what, if I was the defensive coordinator on that team, I'd be getting everyone to be doing push-ups. I mean, everyone didn't even want to tackle the man last time on that last play. But, I mean, look at the elusiveness here. Again, we're trying to look for footwork and, and traits. Makes that Stop guy and miss. Mm -hmm. And, again, just see, you know, he's, the guys are taking bad angles, man. I mean, I think he's got decent wheels for being – I mean, again, look at the ability to – the way he, you know, presses the line kind of there. You can kind of maybe see if he was playing running back there and – you know, the ability to run outside, got some good blocking outside, but I don't know. I think he's got a, a, some good acceleration to be, you he's know. Very smooth. So very smooth. Sneaks, the speed sneaks, sneaks up on you sometimes when you're like that. So. He's got stop and start acceleration. He, even if he doesn't have like crazy top end speed, he's got great acceleration. He does. I think mm -hmm. he'll be an MPH guy. Watch. I bet he has. He has good but I like the ability. Power. Kind of again, like he presses here, runs yep. outside. Look at the bad angles. They don't want to tackle him. Right? No, they, don't. they don't want a piece of him. He's huge. I think we saw this clip already, but we'll see it again. I must have had a double in here. But again, I think he's got enough like wiggle to. Mm -hmm. I like the know. quarterback stuff too. You know, like oh, this is really good too. I mean, being able to understand the offense right here. Cuts that to the outside, makes yeah. that guy miss. Bad angle. And he's got enough wheels, man, to, to make do some damage in the second level for sure. Well, he's keeping receipts, right? 
Mm -hmm. I think we might have sold this one too. Yeah, that might be a doubler. So there you guys got it, man. There's not a lot of film on Cam Davis, but we see the traits that will make him be an exciting freshman headed to our, uh, you know, going into our supplemental drafts and our Debbie startup. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this kid, man. I think he's got an opportunity. Like we said, we might have to wait a year mm -hmm. for him to get on the field, but uh, I think his sophomore year, he will be the bell cow. So I know he's going to be early in drafts, like we said, at the C2C draft, uh, supplemental draft, uh, mock draft on the dashboard we're doing now. He was taken in the first round, so he's an exciting running back prospect headed to uh, mm -hmm. to Miami for sure. Florida, Florida, State. Florida, Florida State. I'm sorry, get, get those two mixed mm -hmm. up. Yeah. All right, well, Luigi, man, thanks for uh, you know jumping on the channel. And again, guys, hit that subscribe button. We have tons of films like this, Luigi and I. We've been doing these for two or three months. We're going to be doing them all spring, all summer, for all the freshmen headed to our Debbie and C2C rosters. Thanks for watching.